Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Uh, welcome to Post Commentary on uh, Grunty's Tent in Witchy World. So I went through and uh, I got the super secret cheat, and we're going to show that. I'm going to show you all the fortunes I got, all the different fortunes. Now, I'm not going to show you repeats, but uh, we'll just talk about the mechanics a little. So you go in, you get a random thing. Sometimes it's a beating and you lose one energy bar. Often it's an item. Uh, refill, and again, we'll see these. So she says, ah, welcome, I will not choose your fate. Now, if you want to do this, you're going to have to go in a whole bunch of times. So we got an energy bar refill, and that doesn't matter because we have, you know, uh, honey back. But you just keep going in, and she'll keep giving you, you know, and then eventually she'll close the tent, you'll have to run around Witchy World for a while, it'll open back up, and, like, you can come back in and try it again. It took me about, uh... I don't know. It took me, I think, two videos of 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and then uh, one little short video that I show in its entirety. So, so it's a lot of things like extra, extra of any of the eggs. Uh, although I don't know if you can get Clockwork Kazooie ones. I never did. Uh, I never got extra ice eggs either. You probably can, but extra regular eggs, uh, extra red feathers, extra gold feathers, a beating. Those are your options, or an energy bar refill. So there, yeah, you get a beating. We have honey back, so it takes the water, and then we get it right back. So you can just do this. I mean, once you have honey back, you can just do this forever. You never have to worry about losing your energy, so. So uh, once we get the cheat, uh, we'll go into regular commentary. I regularly commentated. I didn't get the cheat to... I got the cheat to work, but the cheat you get as a result of that, the Nest King cheat, I couldn't get that to work. I do later in the LP, though. So we will see it. So that'll happen. Now, the tent is now open again, just as you're running around. I don't know what the measure of uh, when it opens up is. So we got a, oh, we got a beating. She likes this one. I don't know why I put this. There must have been a different kind of egg that we got or something. Oh, gold feathers. Right, because we, we hadn't seen that. Alright, so uh, this is in its entirety. Uh, this is the run that got me um, uh, the, the cheat. So... And you'll see we get, we get like beat up like three times in a row and then we get the cheat. And uh, when we're done with this, we'll go into regular commentary, and you will hear that. So, you'll hear me struggle with ch codes and cheats and stuff. And you could still, even after you get the cheat, you can come in here and get other stuff. I just don't know if the, I don't think the cheat's probably an option. Why you would want to get it twice? This doesn't make any sense. Bad Joe's a stubborn bear. She keeps kicking him out. He keeps coming right back in. <laughs> Alright, so it must be after this one. So, yeah, we like like I said, it's just, I mean, it just activates. we got to go to the code room and activate it. Things like that. So, uh, and the cheat you get out of here actually allows you to read the signs in Jiggy Wiggy's temple. So, all right. So, uh, the secret cheat is get Jiggy activated in the normal way. All right, now get lost. All right. So, I will see you uh, for uh, regular commentary. Uh, you guys take care and uh, see you for that. Hello everybody! Uh, we should just be coming out of post-commentary because I just did uh, a whole thing with Grunty's Fortunes and got the super secret cheat that's incredibly rare and impossible to get. So the cheat is get Jiggy and we can go activate that right now and then do other stuff. So fantastic. Wait, what am I doing? I want to leave. 
Uh, yeah, it took me, it actually only took about 20 minutes. The Honeyback code, and I'll probably talk, I probably talked about this in post commentary. I don't know, I haven't recorded that part yet, or processed the videos. Uh, but, um, uh, it only took about 20 minutes, uh, and most of that was Grunty's thing being closed. But I think we probably got them all, so. Now, you can enter cheats backwards in this game as well by putting, I think, Cheeto in front of it. Uh, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. We'll be going over that at the end of the, at the end of the LP, but. But the fact that we got that one is just awesome. You know what, actually, what we should do is we should go out of here. We should go to, uh, Jiggy Wiggy's temple because this code doesn't, I mean, get Jiggy doesn't, he doesn't give us a Jiggy. Which would be nice, but... And now Jiggy Wiggy's temple is open all the time, because we can always do the challenge for time. But there are signs in Jiggy Wiggy's temple. When fortune smiles, here will be written the Jiggy secrets. So that is essentially what the code you get from the fortune teller is for is we can't read those signs. Now, uh, most people just do these codes by putting them in backwards, if they're going to do them. Uh, I'm not that kind of LP here, so we won't be doing that. <laughs> so, we'll actually be legitimately... Although, I don't blame you. I mean, like, the walking back and forth into the fortune thing could be really obnoxious. I definitely did a lot of it that never... Sh saw the light of day where I just got nothing over and over and over and over and over. Just beatings four times in a row and stuff like that. And that was when I had limited health, so. Alright. So, uh, ta-da. Whoops. Okay, so this is yet another thing I haven't done on my practice file. Alright, the Get Jiggy Cheat will activate the signposts in Jiggy Wiggy's Temple. So, now we have to go activate the signposts in Jiggy Wiggy's Temple. I don't know if we have to activate this cheat like a normal cheat. But you would think we would have to. There we go. And we have earned that one, which is really crazy. Now, I'm not sure. The signpost of Jiggy Wiggy's Temple should be a riddle. I know the answer to it. It was actually discussed the last time we were in Jiggy Wiggy's Temple. In regular commentary, so... But, we will, you know, we're fortunate that we were able to show uh, all of the fortunes. I assume I got all of them. Uh, there might be extra ice eggs and stuff as a fortune that you could get, but I'm not going to keep walking into that tent for hours just to see. We got energy refill, red feathers, uh, regular eggs, and whatever. But you could logically use the, the tent to fill up a lot of your stuff. I probably talked about that in post-commentary, too. At least that was my plan. So now we have Jiggy Wiggy signposts. Behold the Jiggy secret of Witchy World. One, defeat Mr. Patch. Two, win the balloon burst game. So this will tell you where all the Jiggies are. Behold the Jiggy secret of Jolly Rogers Lagoon. So you didn't have, all, you know, in the days before walkthroughs, I suppose. Well, pff, the days before easy access to walkthroughs, anyway.
It's fun kind of listening to his voice, though. I've gotten all of these. <laughs> like, so ridiculous. Hail Fire Peaks! Chili Willy and Chili Billy! So this one should be Cloud Cuckoo Land. Alright. What one is this? Aha! Well, we did all these, obviously. This is not that great a cheat. Uh, considering, you know, we a lot of these are obvious. Alright. Huh, is it if we talk to him? Approach the monolith and press B to attempt the super special challenge. Yeah, not so much. Oh! Nice! I knew that there was something else in here. Okay, here we go. Have you looked on the roof of the Red Junjo house? Yes, I have. Leave me alone. Witchy world is where fortune may smile upon you. Okay. An egg container followed by jingling. Okay, so that's a different cheat. That is the nest king. Because jingling is a king. And uh, an egg container is a nest. That's what I was looking for. That's what I thought the signs unlocked. So let's see if we can actually just punch that in and activate it. I'll be disappointed if we can't. If we have to put it in backwards. Considering we've read the sign, we fortune smiled on us. You may have been able to do that without getting the fortune. But we did get the fortune, so we did get the Cheeto code or whatever. So, yeah. Uh, wow, we really, really cleaned up this game. I'm, I'm happy because we certainly cleaned up Banjo-Kazooie pretty well. Alright, into the code chamber we go. Let's see if Nest King will work. It would be nice. And we do have another one we'll unlock from Cheeto, so... Huh, no, it won't let us put it in. So I think we would have to do, like... And then we would have to spell it backwards. No, we do have to put in Cheeto. Really? Seriously? Probably already hit it when you put in... Okay, I don't know. I don't know. 
So, not a big deal. Uh, it really isn't. Uh, the Nest King code gives you unlimited eggs. So now we have Jiggy Wiggy signposts, homing eggs, everything's on. Alright everybody, uh, when we come back, uh, more of this. Bye everybody.